Well, hello there. I'm Kim Berry, editor of Food and Drink Business. Welcome to our weekly news roundup brought to you by Hydroflux. And I'm back. There's a ring on my finger and a smile on my dial. And I'm so pleased to have my face back in your lives once more. So much has happened in my absence. Uh, the ACCC has uh, given the green light to Woolworths acquisition of a 65% stake in PFD food services. While concerns had been raised by some suppliers that the deal would impact uh, and lessen competition, the ACCC has said that PFD's current share of the market made that unlikely. The regulator is also taking a look at JBS's uh, proposed acquisition of the pig breeding and processing company Rivoli, which currently accounts for more than 25% of pig processing in Australia. Uh, while we're talking about acquisitions, Craft Drinks uh, Accelerator, Mighty Craft, has acquired the South Australian Adelaide Hills Group for $47 million. The group includes Adelaide Hills Distillery, Mismatch Brewing Company, and Hills Cider. Our top click last week was the announcement by Woolworths that it has created a new executive leadership role for sustainability. Alex Holt, who has been the um, who has overseen sustain the group's sustainability portfolio since 2016 is now joining the group executive as Chief Sustainability Officer. In other sustainability news, Aldi has announced that it has achieved 100% renewables uh, energy supply to all of its operations uh, six months ahead of its planned schedule. And on top of its $37 million upgrade to its Smithton plant in Tasmania last year, McCain Foods has spent a further $1.8 million on a technology upgrade that has already seen savings of around 100,000 litres of water a day and will cut roughly 276 tonnes of CO2 emissions from the plant every year. For these stories and more, please head to the website uh, foodanddrinkbusiness.com.au uh, A shout out to Hydroflux for being the sponsor of our bulletin. And with that, I'm Kim Berry, over and out.